Hey guys, so in this video we're going to look at the volume of a cube. So on my left I've got a cube of dimensions 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter, and on my right I've got a slightly larger cube which we'll look at in a sec. So what we're looking at is the volume of a cube. So we can see here that this face is 1 meter, this face is 1 meter, and this face is 1 meter, and because it's a cube we know that all of the faces uh, must have the exact same dimensions. So all sides must be one meter in length. So when we have a three-dimensional sh three shape, we usually say that we have a height. So a height is this distance here. So it's denoted as usually h, and it's the height. We have a width, which is usually this distance here, sometimes denoted as a w, and it's width. And we have a depth which is this distance here, and it's denoted as you know, depth, or you might hear it called length. But it, we have these three faces, I'll denote this one as D for depth. So when we look at a cube, this is the simplest kind of cube we can get. All the sides are a unit, so one, exactly one, and the cube is exactly one meters in all, in all directions. So you might have heard the expression, you know, a meter cubed or one centimeter cubed. So when we're talking about a one meter cubed, we're thinking exactly this. So it's a cube in which all of the dimensions are one meter. Uh, so there is a way that we can work out the volume of this cube. So logically, if we think of a one meter cube, we think of this cube where all of the sides are one meter in length. But there is another way we can do it. We could say, well, if the height is one meter, the width is one meter, and the depth is one meter, we can multiply all of these together in order to work out the volume of our cube. So just expressed, expressed simply, we can have the height multiplied by the width multiplied by the depth is going to give us our volume. So it's fairly simple in this case. We have a one meter height, a one meter width, and a one meter depth. So our volume will, will be 1 times 1 times 1, which is going to be 1. And the tricky part is, all of these 1s have meters, so it's 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter. We get 1 meter, meter times meter times meter, comes out to give us meter to the power of 3. So the volume of this cube we can calculate to be 1 meter cubed, even though we can just see it logically. So if we go over to our next cube, and we have, say, a 3 meter by 3 meter by 3 meter cube, we know that the length of the cube here is going to be 3 meters. The width of the cube here is going to be 3 meters. This is our width. And the height of our cube is going to be three meters again, because it's a cube, uh, it has all the same dimensions. We can denote this with these little dashes on the edges, meaning everything's the same length. So what we can do is we can apply the same logic we applied over here. So we know that the height times width times the depth is going to give us the volume. So I'll use this V to denote volume. Volume equals our height times our width times our length or our depth. So in this case, it's just going to be 3 meters times 3 meters times 3 meters, which we also can denote as 3 meters to the power of 3. Uh, you can watch the video on indices to work out where that comes from. So the volume of this cube is going to be 3 meters times 3 meters times 3 meters, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, and meter times meter times meter is going to give us meter cubed. So we can say that the volume of this second larger cube is going to be 27 meters cubed. And basically what that means is if we were to divide the face up, so the cube up, so just like this, into one meter units, so each of these is one meter, so there's one meter, here is one meter, here is one meter. We can do the same on this side. And then we can do the same on the top here. 
it basically means that there are 27 of these small uh, 1 by 1 meter cubes. So that's 1 meter, that's 1 meter, and we have 27 of them. So that's how we work out the volume of the cube. The simplest way to remember it is it's just the height times the width times the length. Or, alternately, because all of the sides are the same length, we can also say that it is equal to the height cubed, or it's equal to the width cubed, or it's equal to the length cubed. And all that means is it's equal to one side multiplied by itself three times, just like we've done here. So that's how you calculate the volume of the cube. I'll put out some more videos on other shapes. Thanks.